Jesus is king. Jesus is king. This fucking album, man, it's got me so conflicted. So much so that I haven't been able to write a proper scripted review or semi-scripted review at least because I can't properly articulate how this album has made me feel. So I just wanted to quickly just spew my fucking feelings out on camera quickly. Um, I mean, sonically, the album is exactly what I was expecting. Um, I mean, we got so many Yandy leaks and all the Sunday service stuff. Uh, so it, the, the sonic landscape of the album is not a surprise. And I think anyone who is surprised just wasn't paying attention to the rollout of this album. What does surprise me is the the kind of lack of focus on a lot of the, don't get me wrong, I do, for the most part, I do enjoy this album, but it's it's easy to see that this is this is Kanye's weakest album. Uh, but it, again, even his, his bad shit is still good. But the, it's the lack of consistency and the lack of coherence in a lot of the songs, and it's not in a way that is wholly entertaining as it was on The Life of Pablo. That was a notably, noticeably, messy album uh, it's got this kind of a lot of the tracks have this kind of lo-fi loose aesthetic to them but they work because the the coherence of the songs are still there Kanye is witty he's funny uh just go listen to no more parties in LA that's one of his best ever verses but that kind of aesthetic is all over the album and when he's bringing such a narrow narrow lyrical landscape to, to Jesus is King, where he's only rapping about his salvation and his relationship with, with Jesus or with God, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm the furthest thing from Christian you can imagine, but I'm of the opinion that you can rap and sing about any subject. And if the writing is good, the music's good, then it's good music. Jesus Walks, one of the best rap songs ever made. But this right here is not in the same bracket as you. No, no, nothing on here is in the same bracket as Jesus Walks. And I feel this is, I mean, maybe it's to do with his lack of medication for his supposedly untreated bipolar disorder. And I do feel that this kind of album is in the same chaotic frenzy that, that Ye and Kitty Ghost was. But when he's choosing to box himself in like this with Jesus is King, it, it doesn't make for it doesn't make for some of Kanye's best work. Um, of course, there are there are highlights. Follow God is classic Kanye, but we only get a taste of that, and that song's only fucking like two minutes long. So, um, the song God is is probably one of the worst Kanye songs I've heard. I mean, it's still you know it's it's meh. and I don't say that lightly because there are not I can't think of a Kanye song that I don't at least like, apart from Barry Bonds, because that shit is fucking shit, trash. Um, but God, God is, nah, nah. I, and I, I, I do appreciate when Kanye sings, and even, even if he's off key, on Ghost Town, he was kind of off key, but it's, it was endearing, and the, the lyrics are endearing, so you, you overlook it. But when he's just saying, Jesus Christ, save my life, da da da, it's repetitive, and it's not repetitive in a way that's catchy or witty. It's it it just gets stagnant, it gets stale, and it gets boring. Um, I mean, thankfully, it, that's that's a rare moment on the album where I am genuinely bored. But for someone of Kanye's talent and his relevance, that that shouldn't be happening, especially when the album has been hyped this much, and you have so much talent. All over the album. Or just look at the producers. You've got Timberland. You've got Ronnie J. You've got all these amazing vocalists. You've got fucking clips getting back together. You've got Kenny G doing a fucking saxophone solo for you. This album shouldn't. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be this messy. And I've seen. I've seen some critical responses to this album. It's noticeably uh, publication like Pitchfork claiming that this is more concise and coherent than Yay, and. While that may be true in terms of the rollout of this album, it's not true in terms of in terms of the music at all. Ye was there was notably more muted than Jesus is King. It was his low most low key album to date, but he was 
he was it, it was it's kind of hard to to put into words um what Ye is lyrically he's it's kind of like a lightning in a bottle moment where he's in the midst of one of the most volatile moments of his career with the whole the Trump shit, make America great again hat, the slavery comments, yada, yada, yada. But he was able to channel that into emotionally captivating lyrics and songwriting. And I think that's why I personally gravitate towards it and I definitely prefer it to Jesus is King. Um, I mean, again, like, again, there are more things that I enjoy on Jesus is King than I don't. Vocal harmonies, amazing. The choir work, amazing. Follow God, amazing. But I just I, I I I hope for more with with Kanye. I re I really do, and I really hope that him boxing himself in like this isn't going to last for long. And I I've seen this 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 trait with Kanye before, where he will focus on one thing for a specific period of time, and he will move on to the next thing. Um, I mean, I'm not trying to say that he should abandon his faith or anything like that because he's 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 been a he's been an unashamed Christian since he came into the scene, and there's, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with it at all. But when your when your music is suffering because you're focusing so much on on just one singular thing, I mean, then it, it's 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 hurting, and I don't I don't know. It's, it's I I do really hope that Kanye. Not, I don't, I'm, I don't want to be cliche and say, I miss the old Kanye because I'm not one of those people. Yeezus is my favourite fucking Kanye album. So that that's not me. I would never make such a comment. But I do hope that he he gets back to to being a bit more eclectic. Uh, that's something that Kanye has always done. He's always pulled from so many different genres. And Jesus is King is one of the few albums where he's not doing that. He's It's just gospel and hip hop. And that's fine, you can do that. But if you're going to do that, lyrical content has to be there. And the wit and the clever wordplay and the storytelling, and you can frame it within the, within the confines of, a, of an overtly Christian album. <coughs> that's perfectly fine. You can, like I said, you can rap and you can sing about anything as long as the writing is good enough. But it's, um, it's just a bit too inconsistent, in my opinion. Um, I, 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 I am secretly wishing that Yandy came out and said, not going to lie. But like I said, I'm a Kanye stan, so I'm still going to fucking bump the shit over and over again because I'm emotionally obliged to. But yeah, Jesus is king. Jesus is king. Also, I saw the IMAX film. If you, if you don't like concert films... You are not gonna fucking like that. It is there's there's no narrative, which is fine. It's just a concert film. It's just his Sunday service team performing songs. And on on an IMAX screen, it looks amazing. But even as a Kanye stan, if that shit came out on DVD, or if it went to streaming, I probably wouldn't watch it. You don't need to watch it more than once, apart from just for its sonic qualities. But yeah, Jesus is King. That's it.